Good day. This video is mainly for geometry, grade 9 and older. It is mainly about straight lines and angles formed by them. Right, here is our first rider or problem. They said solve for x. When we answer questions in geometry, we always have to make statements, say something, and then give a reason why we say that. So we got this sketch, and they said EBD is a straight line from there to there. And we have to solve the size of that x. One possible way of answering it is you can write x plus 35 plus 90 equals to 180 by reason angles on a straight line. Then using equations, I can minus the 35 and the 90 from the 180, and then I get x equals to 55 degrees. The size of that angle is then going to be 55 degrees. That must make sense to you, because there's a 90 there, a 35 there, plus 55 will give me 180. And if you didn't know, if they put a little block in the corner of two lines meeting, they mean that is 90 degrees. The second fact that is important in geometry, that is not stressed enough in grade 8 and 9, is that if they don't tell you that something is a straight line, you can't just assume it is. For this video, I want you to please assume that that line and that line is straight lines. If they look straight, we're going to take them as straight. I'm not going to write it every time like I did up here. So here is our second rider. They're still asking solve for x. I must make statements and write reasons. I just removed the first problem, so let's do this one now. One way of answering it is you can write 3x minus 15 degrees equals 45 degrees. So that angle is equal to that angle because they're vertically opposite angles. Then using equations, we solve for x. So we plus 15 on both sides to get rid of that minus 15. That gives us 3x equals to 60 degrees. Then we can divide by 3 on both sides. Then we get x equals to 20 degrees. In geometry, you do not have to show all your working out. But I prefer to use a pencil and do my writing to just help me not to make mistakes. Please stop the video and get your brain around this rider. Here is our next problem. They gave us this triangle. They gave me that pair of parallel sides. And it says solve for x, y and z. You must write statements and give reasons for your statements. One possible way of answering this question is, you can write y plus 94 equals to 180, co-interior angles, DE parallel to BC. Because those two lines are parallel, those will be two co-interior angles adding up to 180. Then your answer will be y equals to 86 degrees, because you're minusing 94 on both sides. Next, you could write x equals to 38 degrees, that x and that 38 are corresponding angles, which we wrote, and they are going to be equal because the lines are parallel. As I go through a rider like this, as I find my answers, I write them in on the sketch. They might be needed just now. Next, we could write Z plus X equals to 94 degrees, exterior angles of triangle ADE. So, in that red triangle over there, that 94 degrees is equal to that X plus that Z. The exterior angle of that triangle is equal to the sum of the opposite interior angles. Then we may write z equals to 94 minus 38. I minus the x on this side to get the z alone. Then the final answer for z is z equals to 56 degrees, which I can also write in on my sketch. Now I can check if I add the 56 with the 86 plus the 38, I should get 180 degrees. That's another way you could have used Please stop the video and get your brain around this problem. Here again they say solve for x and y and they gave us this sketch. We, again, they told us that AD and BE are straight lines. That line and that line are straight lines. One way of answering it is you take that straight line because they only got one variable we're using here which only x rather than if I have x and y in the problem. So we're going to take these three 2x plus 30 degrees plus x equals 180, angles on a straight line. Then we add the like terms, 2x plus x gives me 3x, and I minus the 30 on that side, gives me 150. Then we divide by 3 on both sides, and we get x equals to 50 degrees. And like I said, we can then fill it in on the sketch. So then this 
will be 50 degrees this angle here and that one will be 2 times 50 which will be 100 degrees next we can write y equals to 2x equals to 100 degrees because they are vertically opposite angles that's a straight line that's a straight line those two angles are vertically opposite angles and they are equal please stop the video and get your brain around finding x and y in this problem right looking at the next problem again they ask us to solve for x they told us that a b is parallel to c d we may write x plus 15 degrees equals to 45 degrees alternate angles a b parallel to c d because the lines are parallel the alternate angles will be equal now i just solve for x with equations then our final answer will be x equals to 30 degrees we minus 15 on both sides Please stop the video and get your brain around this problem. In this problem they ask solve for x, y and z. They wrote next to the sketch here that su is equal to st. So I indicated it on the sketch and they put little lines in there for us. That implies that this angle and this angle will be equal. If they indicate on a sketch that one line is parallel to another line, I advise you to put in extra arrows over there for your brain's sake. Now one way of answering the question is, you can write x equals to 50 degrees, alternate angles, rq parallel to tv. Because these two lines are parallel, the alternate angles will be equal. Next we could write, the angle STU is also equal to x, angles opposite equal sides of a triangle. So that angle at the bottom there is also x because those two sides are equal of that triangle. That means STU will equal to 50 degrees, like that 50 degrees over there. Because they are angles opposite equal sides of a triangle. Next you may write, in triangle SUT, the blue triangle there, the 4Y plus the 50 plus the other 50 equals to 180 interior angles of a triangle then if you minus the two 50s on both sides you'll get 4y equals to 80 degrees then y equals to 20 degrees because you divide by 4 on both sides now we have to solve for z still one way to do it is to write z equals to the angle sut plus the angle stu and that'll equal to 100 degrees together exterior angles of a triangle if you look at the blue triangle now the exterior angle here is equal to the sum of the opposite interior angles those two will 50 each so z will be 50 plus 50 which is 100 degrees exterior angles of a triangle please stop the video and get your brain around this problem In the next problem they say again solve for x one way of writing it is to say angle LPM is equal to 160 degrees, vertically opposite angles. That angle over there is equal to that angle over there, LPM. Then one way to go on is to write 2x plus 160 degrees equals 180 degrees, co-interior angles KL parallel to NM. Because those two lines are parallel, that will form co-interior angles so that one plus that one will add up to 180 co-interior angles because the lines are parallel they will add up to 180 if you minus 160 on both sides you'll get 2x equals to 20 degrees then you also will be x equals to 10 degrees please remember that is not the size of that angle it is the value of x if you needed the size of KLP, it'll be 2x, which means it'll be 20 degrees. They didn't ask that. Please stop the video and get your brain around how we solved for x here. Now, don't get a fright because of the way they ask the next and the last two questions. The question reads, express your answers in terms of x. Then they ask us to find the size of angle DEC. We must find the size in terms of X. First you must read it right. It says angle DEC. You start on D, move to E, move to C. They want the size of that blue angle. It was also given that AEB is a straight line. So that is a straight line running up there. 
One way of answering this question is you can write x plus the angle DEC plus 90 degrees equals 280 degrees. Of course, they are angles on a straight line. So we added that, that, and that angle together. Remember, there's a little block in there. It means it's 90 degrees. Then we can keep the angle DEC on this side equals 180, and we minus the x and the 90 on the other side. Stop the video and get your brain around what we did. Then if you simplify this, you'll get the angle DEC equals to 90 degrees minus x. So the size of that blue angle in the corner there will be 90 degrees minus x. Please stop the video and get your brain around this. Last question for this video, it says express your answer in terms of x. They gave us this picture. And they said here, work out the size of angle G, L, K. Put your finger on G, move it to L, move it to K. They want the size of the angle over there. They also said on the side here that D, K, E and F, L, G are straight lines. That means all the lines you see here are straight lines. One way of answering the question is then you can write X plus the angle GLK equals to 180 degrees. And the reason is they are co-interior angles and because the lines are parallel, they will add up to 180 degrees. So the size of angle GLK is going to be 180 minus X. That's the size of that angle. So we've got the size of the angle in terms of X. Please stop the video and get your brain around this answer. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked the video and subscribe to the channel. If you run into a grade 9 geometry problem that you are unsure about, you can take a clear WhatsApp photo of it and send it to this number and show me where you tried it. Then we will Try and solve it for you and send back an answer as soon as possible. Enjoy geometry.